recursion. The purpose of this channel is to document my journey of attempting to program a consciousness. But first we need to answer, what is consciousness? Well, a quick Google search shows that the definition of consciousness is the state of being awake and aware of one's surroundings. But what does that really mean? If we define awareness, we find that it is having knowledge of or perception of a situation or fact. But now we need to find perception. Perception is defined as the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through the senses. Ignoring the circular definitions here, we can say that conscious beings store some information about their surroundings and react accordingly, kind of like a function. But that raises the question, if conscious beings store information about their surroundings and react, then does that mean a bacteria or even a virus is conscious? To answer that, I believe consciousness lies on a spectrum, where the elementary particles from the standard model lie on the lowest end of that spectrum, and humans on the highest end of that spectrum. Because elementary particles are the smallest units in reality that react with the environment, I believe they are input-output machines. Just because an elementary particle doesn't consider more factors in its decision to follow the four fundamentals forces doesn't mean that it doesn't respond to its environment in some way. I think it is foolish to try to draw a line where some things are conscious and others are not. Cats, for example, display some level of consciousness but lack the ability to hold a conversation in English. Just because the cat can't hold a conversation doesn't mean that it has no decision-making process. It only means that the cat is less conscious than most humans, and for that matter, the cat is more conscious than, for example, a bacterial cell. In my opinion, humans are input-output machines, where you can trace back every single decision a human makes to experiences that led that human to make those decisions. And just because humans are on the highest end of the spectrum doesn't mean that they are the most conscious. There may exist more conscious things than humans, but because there is no evidence of such a thing, we can say with certainty that humans are the most conscious systems we know. And because humans are the most conscious thing we know, it seems like the path of least resistance is to design a consciousness that could copy the function of a human. Whether that copying is done particle by particle or by observing human behavior and attempting to replicate it from a high level view is up to us to decide. In my opinion, the delineation between something that takes inputs, performs some computation, and produces outputs, and something that can think is a blurred line. So what makes my opinion valuable? To be frank, absolutely nothing. Although I have a degree in computer science and I have studied many aspects of consciousness, nobody has actually programmed something that I would consider satisfying to the consciousness problem. To understand the human brain, we can't just focus on one field of science, we must focus on all of them. Physics, psychology, mathematics, biology, no single field holds the answer to consciousness. This means that there is no true answer to how to go about making a consciousness. We define our own path. So where to begin? Luckily, we have a working model of consciousness, the human brain. In the next episode, we will discuss from a high level how the human brain works. All sources can be found in the video description. Have a wonderful day.